Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, your never too busy station, bringing you traffic information and travel advisory well wrapped in the Temple of Delight. The month of June is cruising at an accelerated pace, revving up the engines of positivity, oiled with the zeal to succeed and the determination to really, really excel. You're most welcome to Build Right, your one-stop diary for the built environment in Lagos. Every Thursdays at 9 15 build right takes you on an excursion through the built environment using the time talents and treasures of professionals as crucial lifelines for the attainment of a well-planned city now the program is an initiative of the lagos state ministry of physical planning and urban development the ministry that is responsible for initiation formulation and implementation of physical planning and urban development policies for the Lagos State Government. It's nice to have you join us. My name is Victor Oteri. On this uh, edition of the program, which is the 11th installment for this third quarter, we'll be taking you on an excursion through another great initiative of the Lagos State Government. We're looking at the Office of Urban Development and its relations to local government activities in the state. So, uh, what is the mandate of that particular office and um, how can we really, really relate it to the physical and urban development plans of Lagos? These are many more we're reflecting on. If you can keep us company from now through 10 o'clock. But first off, let's have a word from our partners. And when we return, it'll be time to set sail. Near Lagosians, the vision of making Lagos a sustainable and resilient state through community regeneration and inclusive physical planning begins with building right. We all have a role to play in achieving this vision in line with the Lagos State Urban and Regional Plan and Development Law of 2019 as amended. Do you know that before buying a land or building on it, you must check for the permissible use from the Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development? Do you know that you must obtain a planning permit and authorization to commence the construction of your building? Do you also know that you require state certification and certificate of completion for building construction in Lagos State? Estate developers must obtain layout approval before developing their estate and obtain full planning permit after the expiration of a provisional planning permit. Their Lagosians do not carry out unapproved renovation, remodeling or demolition. Do not break the seal on an enforced property. Do not obtain fake planning permits and do not abandon uncompleted buildings. Do not break the law. Build right in accordance with the state operative development plans. Let's work together to make Lagos a sustainable smart city of choice. For more information, download the Lagos State MPP UD app on Google Play Store and Apple Store. Igbega Ikbileko, Ajumosheni, announcer, Lagos State Government. Build right on Lagos Traffic Radio and had a 6.1 FM. And today we're going to be mirroring urban development and local government activities in Lagos State. And joining me in the studios right now, a great friend of the house. He's no stranger to the microphone. Engineer Nuruddin Olali Konshudendi, Permanent Secretary, Office of Urban Development, uh, Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development right here in Lagos. Nice to have you back in the studio, sir. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Lagos. It's been quite a while, though. We had you here, <laughs> and <laughs> I do not know if you've been here ever since we had this uh, big structure by your left there. Look at the cameras. Talk to uh, me. Well, what do you make of this? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, this is some <laughs> transformation. I can, uh, uh, Victor, well done. All right. This is a good investment. That's Great. good. That's Great. Good. Well done. Well done. This oh, nice one. Okay, then. So we're not blushing. We, we take it uh, uh, with some humble, <laughs> nice. some humility. All right, Engineer Shodade, you've uh, appeared severally on this platform at various times to speak on developmental issues across uh, different spheres. But for this office that you serve in as in the capacity of our permanent secretary, quickly and uh, kindly talk to us this morning, what's the mandate of the Office of Urban Development in Lagos? Thank you very much, Victor. Um, before now, we used to have one office, I mean, a combined office of... Uh, Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development. Mm. I mean, physical planning is has a duty to plan to ensure that the spatial space of Lagos is well arranged on paper, like a proposal. Okay. This is what Lagos should look like. Urban development 
on the other hand, is to facilitate that those plans come to fruition, that the infrastructure that are so proposed are put in place adequately at the right time. Because, well, you know, this is done by physical planning doing their own master plan. All right. Modern city plans, area, all kinds of plans. But urban development, there used to be a, develop, a department in the ministry, mm. now is now an office as created by the governor, Mr. Babaji Olusunlason Wolu. Okay. Now, our mandate is to ensure that we we'll focus on those items of development that will give Lagosians a good life. Okay. It's not enough that you provide roads and you don't do complementary services like housing that will complement the... Fa- because um, the, the only constant decimal in, la- in, in this equation is the population. Right. It is increasing. So, good life is directly proportional or, rel- or correlated with the population. We are a population today. In another 10, 20 years, there's a projected population figure right. based on the growth rate, right? As, uh, 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 you know, you know uh, postulated. So, it's our duty in UD about the that, okay, this proposed figure as captured in the master plans, there is a space for every soul as the time in the master plan. So, it's only that the plan is done, we are to now ensure that we bring all resources together to achieve everything in the master plan. So, more or less, you're bringing the master plan to life. Yes. So, let's look at those things that will make that come to life. What are those things that will make the city livable from the urban development perspective? Now, the two keywords, urban development, Lagos and urban center, mm. we're a mega city. Now, let me paint a picture. Government, every time, does roads, provide road infrastructure. Mm-hmm. But complementary services like housing that's supposed to complement the, f- the road that has been done and always done. I, I, an example, in the master plan, government has provided for some areas to be densified. You go into the hair, you, you grow vertically. Okay. Right now, Lagos is sprawling. We're just going horizontally. But in the master plan, there are areas that have been approved to go f- multi-floors, 5, 10, 15, 20 floors. So it's our job at UD to ensure that such people are arranged are made aware of the possibility. Naturally, mm. you know, we, we will be doing urban forums, urban fora rather, okay. that will bring investors and landowners, people that have ideas together to move Lagos in the right direction. Right. While government is not providing the public infrastructure to facilitate this good living, there must be this economic investment by the pop, by the private sector too. Right. To you know, partner with government to ensure that economic emancipation don't, is brought to bear so, in so the state. So let's put that in proper perspective now. So housing is one of those things that will make the city livable, right? Definitely. Apart from housing, what else? Can we, is urban planning thinking of? That will definitely, I mean, portable water, Wastewater, definitely sanitation, electricity. We need to be having new towns oh. in Lagos. Okay, now let's go back in history. Okay, a lot of us knew Lagos Island. A lot of, a lot of us grew up to know Surrey areas. They call it New Lagos. Right, right. A papa was planned. A papa was planned to be quasi residential, commercial, industrial. It was pop- it was a purpose built area, but over time we found out that land speculators, land holding families dis- decide to just turn everyone into a residential development. Right. So the master plan is now coming back to now rearrange mm. the, the, you know, the, the fabric of the society, the way it should be, for us to have a good life. All right. I mean, it's not enough that you just keep building houses, houses, houses. All this, inf- I mean, you, there must be a space for the infrastructure to be put in, I mean, to be constructed. The roads, the drainages, the pipe, the pipes to be laid, even power infrastructure. Right. The state government, I mean, power is no more exclusive. You know, in the constitution, it, it, I mean, states can take part in the power sector investment. Mm. Sometimes we go look at some IPPs. There's a, there is the possibility that even some areas will be having their own IPPs too. So power, all those things are things that UD will be looking into. IPPs meaning independent power power, power projects. Okay. All so right. these are things that we do will be, be looking putting into. together to give us a good life. So let's look at Lagos because a very, very small space, uh, just um, a little over 3,567 square kilometers. So mm-hmm. looking at that space and considering the way Lagos grows, uh, you know, population-wise, 
The people say Lagos has been urbanized already. So what are you planning for? Well, if I dare say this, Lagos has been urbanized disjointedly. Okay. In a very disharmonious manner. Right. Because we, we all know that development has preceded governance. People jump into green areas and start selling land and people just build houses. That's why you see people going to work from Sunwater, going to VI. Mm. That's bad that's bad development. That's not that's not good good development. People coming all the way from Moway, going to Lagos Island. No. You're not supposed to travel to well, look at I use the papa as an example. People living in the papa in those days were working within the papa. Mm. They were not traveling fast. So that's what you call, and that is what they call urban development. Being able to walk not too far from home. Where you are. Yes. So can it be corrected? I mean, you just said now, disjointed development. So can it be corrected? That is the, that, that is the rationale why Mr. Governor had to bring UD out to really focus on urbanized, I mean, on correcting this uh, negative urbanized development. Right. As we speak right now, Engineer Shoda Inde, I know in some areas in Lagos, uh, look at the extremes. Uh, areas like Ikurudu, like Igbugbu, Imota, and all those places. And even when you uh, stretch uh, westwards towards the Badagri end, you find that, that so many communities just spring up and they spring up without any form of development. So what can urban development do to really bring a kind of organized structure in those communities that we're talking about? Um, you see, UD is supposed to be a facilitating office. We're not supposed to be a creating office. Uh, the problem you just mentioned has to do with what I said about land holding families just selling land people and like people just building what they can afford. But as a government, we are supposed to be the one to put in place a policy. I give an example for housing or for people who want to leave. It is that hunger, that need for them to have habitation right. that drives them to all those areas you just mentioned. Having buying their half plot and building their little bungalow or the small houses and just having their security in that space. But there is, you said Lagos is small, 3,577 right. square meters, mm -hmm. kilometers. Yeah. There is value in the air. You can get five times, ten times that area in the air. Okay. So because so you need to, that's why we need to really plan and follow the plan that's already made. Urbanization in Lagos is in terms of the population and the spread. But in terms of facilities, good life, a big question mark. So UD into the future will be correcting all these gaps. Let's look at prototypes now. Do you have any prototype area that you want to you know, make reference to that UD is thinking of that would be the ideal for Lagos? Any well, prototypes? Uh, for the record, we're just about four months old. Okay. We were created in January. I moved in there February. So a lot of blueprint is, a lot it's of been been put into right the, uh, it's yeah. been worked on right now. But I can tell you for free that we'll be looking at areas that are, that are today blighted. Those will be our pilot area studies that we look at a blighted area, pick it up and turn it around for people to see what it's going to look like. It's not going to be magical. It's, right. not, it's not going to be abracadabra. Right. It's going to be painstaking, time consuming, energy sapping, but it is doable. Let's look at some communities now. Changes that, have to be made. Yeah. I'm looking at, uh, at the extremes now. Those communities that bind and, you know, like serves as boundaries between Lagos and Ogun State. I, I don't know what... Um, you know, urban development will be thinking of in some of those communities. Uh, areas like um, uh, Ikpaja, Ayobo, <laughs> all those areas where, you know, you know, lots of things are springing up in those areas, I, I can tell you. Sorry, those areas are not different from any other area. <laughs> you don't want so, it to be... No, no, hold on. Those areas are not different from Ajegule. Okay. You, they don't have to be boundary communities, but we have pockets of negatively developed area. I mean uh, not uh, areas that are not the way they should be right all over the state so I mean sometimes I, I say Lagos is one big slow urban slow mm. in the real sense of it because we everybody somehow sometimes still needs to have some challenges that we face in terms of infrastructure and having a good life but to the into the future this will be we start being corrected the 
philosophy of development will now be will now be properly put into perspective on how we're supposed to grow. We cannot be building before planning. And when we have a plan, we need to make sure the plan is implemented to the letter. I'll tell you a lie. Most, all the master plans have infrastructures that have been identified to be upgraded. Okay. In them. For all these areas. Yanapaja, we have the Alimasho emergency plan that was just launched a couple of months ago. In it, all the upgrades there for these areas are in that master plan. So it is you this job to ensure that relevant agencies of government picks this infrastructure and puts it and starts implementing them hmm. in their budget. On the other hand, the what has to do with the landowners, people that like you, landlords, hmm. your houses that needs to be upgraded. If your house, if for example your, your Victor's house falls in an area that can go ten floors, right? So on your house you have maybe like. A 1,000 square meter land. Right. And to go 10 floors, you need to have maybe like 4,000 square meters. UD will facilitate you and your neighbors. That's what we call land pooling. We have to now pool. The fact that it is your land, no doubt about it. Right. But you can't individually build within your capacity again. We will bring investors to the table with you and your neighbors that will, will be land pulling together so, so you have to give us those high, those high higher rises. number of floors. Yes. Wow. So yeah, it's going. We're not, it's, like, it's like a facilitation of growth. Hmm. We can't stay where we are. The, com- the economy will not grow. Right. So government will have to facilitate investors meeting land home owners to bring value into the city. All right. So are we thinking of any specific number of floors? 10 floors, 12 floors, Like I said, floors? there is... I mean, I, I, I'll give an example. In Apapa, mm. some areas of Apapa can go 20 floors. Even in GRA here in Ikeja, some can go 8 to 10 floors. Via Iko, you can see that they are identified already in Ikoya as well. All right. You understand? So the master plan and all the plans that I mentioned earlier have all those figures. Even along, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Alfred Rwani in Ikoyi. Right. You can see what's happening there. Hmm. So, all, so, but maybe the previous landowner hasn't got the money to go down the number of floors, but see what's happening. Right. So, we need to in, be intentional to bring more value into the city. All right. Well, we'll talk a bit more about that intentionality and uh, how government can integrate all of this, making use of uh, private investment and all of that. This is Build Right on Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Engineer Lekon Shudende is our guest. He's the Permanent Secretary Office of Urban Development and uh, he's spoken extensively about the vision of uh, his office and what government is trying to do in terms of uh, having a well-planned and well-developed space in Lagos. We're going to take a short break right now. When we return, we'll be talking a bit more about the influence and, of course, the impact of um, local government activities on what the Urban Development Plan is all about in Lagos. And then we also hear from you, too. You can, you know, put your questions in or your contributions in on 80 Seven seven seven. A brief break. We'll be back. Dear Lagosians, the vision of making Lagos a sustainable and resilient state through community regeneration and inclusive physical planning begins with building right. We all have a role to play in achieving this vision in line with the Lagos State Urban and Regional Planning and Development Law of 2019 as amended. Do you know that before buying a land or building on it, you must check for the permissible use from the Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development? Do you know that you must obtain a planning permit and authorization to commence the construction of your building? Do you also know that you require state certification and certificate of completion for building construction in Lagos State. Estate developers must obtain layout approval before developing their estate and obtain full planning permit after the expiration of a provisional planning permit. Their Lagosians do not carry out unapproved renovation, remodeling or demolition. Do not break the seal on an enforced property. Do not obtain fake planning permits and do not abandon uncompleted buildings. Do not break the law. Build right in accordance with the state operative development plans. Let's work together to make Lagos a sustainable smart city of choice. For more information, download the Lagos State MPP UD app on Google Play Store and Apple Store. Igbega Ikbileko Adjumosheni, announcer, Lagos State Government.
Lagos Traffic Radio, and that is six point one FM. Build Right is the program, and I still have with me in the studios the permanent secretary, Office of Urban Development, right here in Lagos, Engineer Nuruddin Olalekon Shodende. If you also want to add your voice to the conversation, feel free to do so at this point, and that will be on zero eight zero nine nine one two zero seven seven seven. Okay, zero eight zero nine. 912-0777 and 091-5387-7127. We're looking at um, urban development and, of course, uh, also looking through the local government as well. All right, so um, if you're taking it through Wurushoki and Toyota Inwards Charity down to BOC Gas, looking very good to go for now. Uh, it's also good movement from BOC Gas in what's uh, Oshudioke, Dante Antonio K Bridge, uh, looking good. And then we can tell you, descending Antonio K Bridge to Bethola, connecting Ikrodu, that's Ikrodu Road, in what's uh, Third Light, perfectly okay as we speak right now. And from there, in what's uh, GT Bank, linking up with Dwight Junction, moving pretty fast. We can tell you, linking up with Charlie Boy, from Antonio K. Bridge is also looking good as well. The return journey is not bad this Thursday morning. All right, then. So let's continue with this. So the role of uh, local government activities and its impact on urban development. And in Australia, India, I wanted to speak to that. What roles can local governments play in urban development? You know, well, just like the state government, the local government is supposed to provide some infrastructures to make the citizens have a good life. So, no. okay, we, let us take this call. Hold on one second. Hello there, good morning. Yes, good morning. All right, what's your name? Uh, my name is Tunde. Okay, Tunde, I have an uh, engineer, Shude Inde, in the building. Yeah. All right, I just quickly want to ask engineer, Shude Inde, uh, please, what plans does your office have for, you know, developing and enhancing public spaces across the state? Okay, the okay. plans they have for developing and enhancing... Public spaces. Public spaces, yes. All right. What's the name again? Uh, my name is Tunde. Okay, Tunde. And you, you said you are calling from where? I'm calling from Yaba. Yaba. All right. And Tunde, just yes. listen up. He will respond to you. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, what plans do you have uh, for developing now, for, public for spaces? Public spaces. There's an agency of government called La Spema okay. that regulates the use of public spaces. So, in the master plan, and in Las Primas activity, they have uh, programs for every public space. The, you know, but basic, basically, every public space in Lagos must have a green orientation. Okay. There must be a green There must area. be a green orientation. No, not just, just a, it has a green orientation. Whatever use it has to be, that is the mantra of UD. It must be a green orientation. So whatever you want to do with the public space, Las Pema and Las Park, which is an agency of Ministry of Environment, need to work together mm. in terms of public space. We don't have enough, but I mean, over in, in the next, going to the future, intentional, we're going to be very careful and intentional to create more public spaces. Because if we're able to go in vertically, as we as we've been we we're, we're planning to we'll have we'll be able to create some areas on land for public space but we need a lot more green area mm. for us to go i mean to really conform with the environmental standards expected mm. we can't use every public space for commercial use every place cannot be a shop cannot be a, a cake lamp cannot be all kinds of things because right now you this number one vision is to correct every negative impacting developmental issue okay i would like you to mention some of those negative impact but i have some messages here and uh, this one says hello engineer should indeed could you share with us what specific initiatives your office prioritizes to effectively coordinate development efforts across local governments in Lagos state uh mr adiola is sending that one in now i'll give you an example if you look at uh, what is the major cause of traffic gridlock which is traffic with this work. Mm. You have people park, parking on the road. Right. You have people you have major intersections of the road being used as markets right. and bus stops. So these are negatively impacting 
development. Okay. So we are we will be coming up with proposals that will move away all these activities away from the highway. Okay. You know, okay, look in Lagos we don't have uh, we hardly we have a few multi-level uh, car parks. Car parks, that's right. Very so few. We need to take out on street parking in commercial areas. Mm. Create some multiple car parks in strategic, strategic areas that people can park and within a walking distance get to your destination. Transact your business, go pick your car and go. All right. This one says, good morning, traffic radio. I just specific training programs or uh, capacity building initiatives that are available for local government officials aimed at fostering sustainable development within their respective communities. This is Funke sending this one in. So do you have any plans? Do you have any collaborations with just local governments to ensure that they can understand what you are what you're doing from the urban development perspective? We will definitely be having a you know a linkage with the local governments in terms of capacity building. Okay. We too we need capacity building. Like I said, our office is just is a, is a, is, a, is, a, is a baby. Okay. So we t- we are still we are still need to be trained. We need to be a lot of more, a lot of more exposure in the urban space. Right. I'm an engineer. I used to be it been drainage, right? But all I'm saying are things that you've. I mean, you need to develop yourself to look at what needs to be done. The so training and retraining is going to be part of our mandate okay, because so, we so. need to be. I mean, we are not reinventing the wheel. Right. We're going to learn from some people, and we're going to be doing a lot of uh, international exposures to our staff. All right. This one says, "Greetings, engineer." Should they say, "How does your office foster collaboration with local governments?" to strategically manage and sustain urban development initiatives across the state. You didn't put your name. And there's another one here. It says, Good day, engineer. Shouldn't they? I am Hajia... What? Okay. Hajia Fatima Mohammed. Okay. So my question is, what are the main challenges in urban planning that is due to Lagos rapid growth and how is your office tackling them? Okay. Well, number one, we are open to every suggestion. We're open to every collaboration. We don't have. We don't know it all. We are not. We are not an encyclopedia. We are on land. We are ready to learn and relearn. Con, you know, partnership is very is the way to go. Right. All we know is that we we have a plan that tells us what Lagos should look like. But how we go about it, we are ready to collaborate and to work together with so people. So can people bring ideas to your oh, office? Most definitely. That's why we're a government. Okay. That's why I mean. That's why we're, we're supposed to receive ideas, you know, appraise it and run with it or, or modify it. I mean, collaboration is the, is the key word in so, urban so development where, right now. Where is your office located? Oh well, right now we are the same block with the Ministry of Physical and Urban Development. That's where we are located. Okay. In so our right. block 15. If they need anything, they can always come yes, down there. All yes, right. We'll leave yes. it at that for now because of time constraints. And you know, it's always a thing of joy having you in the studios. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Victor, for having me. All right. Okay, then. So, and that's how far we go because of time constraints. But, of course, we'll be able to mirror uh, urban development and uh, local government activities in Lagos State. And I can tell you there are loads and loads of things that we can really talk about when we are making reference to urban development. All right, we have to go. The program was produced by Mike James, uh, Akin Soya Aditola, Chief Public Affairs Officer for the Ministry. She's here. And, of course, Mukaila Sanusi, Director of Public Affairs, doing a whole lot of work. Next Thursday, by 9.15, the program makes a return. But till then, my name is Victor Terry. Have a great day. Bye. Dear Legosians, the